Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Rick Bork. We are out here at the landing today. We're gonna cut some firewood here, but I just wanna take a real quick minute here to talk to you about chainsaw maintenance and having things out in the field when you need them. Uh, one thing I do is I got a little bit of a tool bag here and I got all my stuff in here. Chainsaw wrench, file, grease for the bar, extra chains, and I got doubles of that stuff some pliers some vice grips all those things you can throw in a little tool bag and take them out with you especially if you're on a side-by-side -side or ATV something that small it's not real big but you can put a lot of stuff in there for your chainsaw spark plugs that kind of stuff and that way when you're in the field there's a lot of people that their chain will run loose or it gets a little dull and they don't want to go back to the house and they don't want to do this or that to and right now you got everything in your bag when you come back for fuel, you can touch up your chain, you can adjust the chain tension. If you need to blow out the filter, sometimes I got a couple extra air filters in here. I don't have air, air, air filters for everything because if you can see in the back here, I got four chainsaws with me. I actually got oh, about four more at the house if I really needed them. Do I have to have eight chainsaws? No. Do I have eight chainsaws? Yeah. So. And you know what, sometimes my, my go-to is the Husqvarna 460. That's one of my newer saws. It's, uh, it's the second biggest saw I got. I got a bigger John Street than that, but um, I'm a pretty big fan of the Husqvarna's. I got a few other brands as well, but so having this selection, sometimes it's nice to grab the little 240 and go lemon. It's nice and light and easy to work with and I know people are gonna blow up my channel for having a bunch of chainsaws but you know what I can so you know what you but make sure you got a little bag with you just have a little bag of tools some files some rags all that stuff makes your life easier when you're out in the field I make sure I got plenty of bar and chain oil plenty of gas couple cans of gas in here all that kind of stuff the other thing is is uh, cutting helmets now I'm a pretty uh, guilty of not wearing these most of the time um, but especially for people that are inexperienced in the woods I always make sure that they're out here we got you know other people out here helping me come along and joining in so make sure that they're wearing their safety gear if you're gonna mess yourself up that's fine but if you they do it on your property you could get in trouble so the other thing the other thing that I've this is kind of a recent thing for me is chainsaw chaps. Um, these are Husqvarna brand. And you can get ch chainsaw chaps are, they have a huge selection of price and quality. And these are Husqvarna brand. I like these ones because they wrap around your ankles. You see that, how they flare there? They'll go back around your ankle. They're, they're cheap insurance. I've had a few close calls. I've never cut myself real bad, but I've had a few close calls and finally got time to decide to, well, you could uh, be laid up for a long time or even worse, but, and these ones got a couple of pockets in them. These are cool because they, they got a flap on the bottom. You can unbutton them and let the sawdust out. So you can put all your tools in the top right here. But when you're done, you can clean all the sawdust out of your pockets, which is kind of nice. So. That's just uh, a few tips for you guys. Just have that stuff with you in the field. Gas and oil, that's obvious. Everybody takes gas and oil with them, but not everybody takes the, the files and the tools and stuff. It only takes a few minutes most of the time to touch up your chain, tighten up your chain, grease the bar, that kind of stuff. I guarantee you, most people don't think of that. They run that bar until it quits, the sprocket quits turning, and they don't lubricate that sprocket. So bring all that stuff with you. So I'm gonna throw my chaps on. I'm gonna gas up my saw, I'm gonna get to work. I do appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you again next time.